Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to load an image from a URL in your apps. Now already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it image URL for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the main benefits of loading images from URLs is it decreases the size of your application for if you have hundreds of images you want to load up but then the disadvantage is you will need the internet connection or 3G or Wi-Fi to display those images. So it works both ways and it can be really useful in your projects. So the first thing we want to do is go into our view controller.h and just after the UI view controller we do curly bracket and press enter and we're going to want to add an ID outlet for our image view. So we type in ID outlet space UI image view space asterisk and I simply name it image view so it's really easy to understand and we can save that. So once you've done that, we go into our view controller.m. And now as we want the image to load, as soon as the screen loads or the application loads up, we want the image to load up straight away, I'm going to be placing the code in the view did load section. So if I just zoom in for you. So the view did load section is here, and just after the super view did load. I press enter a few times so we can clearly see what we are typing. So we start by typing image view is the name of our outlet dot image space equals space bracket capital UI image space image with data. In the highlighted section here, we do bracket again, capital NS data, space data with contents of URL, data with contents of URL. Now in the highlighted section here, again we do bracket capital NS URL, space URL with string. Then we do the at symbol, quotation mark, quotation mark, and we close up the whole code by doing each bracket which we added three all together. So we just close it up with one, two, three. Let's close up all the code there and it a semicolon. Now if we're going to pause it there and catch up on the code in there. Now to add our URL of our image, we have to put the URL in between the two quotation marks. Now, I'm going to grab a quick URL from Google. I'll simply search iPhone 4S in Google Images and we just bring one up. For instance, this picture here. Now, if we click on the full size of the image and just quickly grab the URL there. And if we quickly zoom back in and paste the URL in between the two quotation marks. So this is a quite a long URL there, so just there. So once you're placing your URL, the code should look a little bit like that. And once you've done that, we can zoom out, save that, go into our view controller.xib and then add in our image view. So if I just drag it up a little bit and center it, and in the mode here, I'm going to do aspect fit so it fits in proportion to the image to the image view now once you've done that we go to files owner in the connections we link up our image view to our image view and then we can simply save that go straight to build and run and then once the iPhone simulator loads up our image should be displayed so there we have it the URL of our image has loaded into our image view as soon as the application has loaded. So again, the main benefits for this is it can reduce the size of your application with all these images. 
but does mean you will require an internet connection to display these images. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you find this helpful, make sure you like it, favourite it, and leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to give us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials and visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.